Hello and welcome to another episode of the Minor Issues Podcast. I'm Mark Thornton at the Mises Institute. The local government has just given authorization to build the tallest skyscraper in the United States. This might signal the beginning of a global bull market in stocks, or it might be something entirely different. The skyscraper curse is the unlikely correlation between the building of a world record-setting skyscraper and a pending world economic crisis. This seemingly unlikely scenario is based on more than 100 years of history of this correlation. In my 2005 journal article in the Quarterly Journal of Austrian Economics, I explain the theoretical backing for this odd correlation. More importantly, it gives us a physical manifestation of what goes on during a business cycle in terms of the male investment that infects the economy. This is particularly relevant in terms of investment in advanced technology in the Austrian business cycle theory. For example, if artificial intelligence is playing that role in the current business cycle, then my article might be instructive to you about making and losing money. For a longer and less scholarly description and analysis of this phenomenon, you can get a free copy of my 2008 book, The Skyscraper Curse and how Austrian economists predicted every major crisis over the last 100 years. It's available in PDF, EPUB, and audio file formats. This new skyscraper project is not in New York City, and it's not even in Chicago, where many of the past records were set. And it's not even in the Middle East or China, where super skyscrapers are being built in large numbers. It's in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, which I was surprised to find out is even the 20th largest city in the United States. You wouldn't think that it was even that big driving through it on the interstate. But I do recall that I do business with a couple of firms there that I have a lot of respect for. Still, it seems a little crazy that they're building a more than 1,900-foot-high skyscraper in a state where land prices are so low compared to New York and Los Angeles. With a population of just over 4 million people, it has the 39th lowest population density of all U.S. states and territories. Professor and acknowledged skyscraper analyst Jason Barr described the building as an unprecedented outlier that is way too tall given the city's population. Well, the overall project in OKC is called the Boardwalk at Bricktown. It calls for three additional buildings of a more normal height. The record-setting skyscraper aspect is projected to be 1,907 feet tall and will be called the Legends Tower. I do not have access to the engineering and architectural plans, which might indicate or not if new advanced technologies will be implemented to complete this project. Still, could such a project in such a location be a marker or catalyst of a global stock market boom? OKC does have a surprising diversity in several high-tech areas, and technology is a key to the skyscraper curse but there is no indication that developers will be using any advanced technologies in the design and construction of the record project. The project does have several locational advantages, such as being 1,350 miles from Washington, D.C. and 1,625 miles from San Francisco. I would imagine it's a low-cost state that is a good place for household formation and that the local people are well-versed in Mother Nature's doo-doo hitting the fan, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. My guess is that the entire total cost of the project would be about the same as the land price and red tape cost of a similar project in New York or San Francisco, without any construction cost. This would mean very low rental and leasing costs for the tenants. 
The Oklahoma economy is driven largely by energy. This would include oil, natural gas, and wind energy. As testimony to that, the city's existing tallest structure is called the Devon Building, which is less than half the height of the record maker and is named after an important but mid-sized energy company headquartered in the state, of which I'm a very small investor. This would seem to argue against a curse. Another consideration is that construction on this record-setting tower does not even begin until 2026, and past projects have been delayed or canceled due to changing economic circumstances. Therefore, it's way too early to issue any kind of alert based on this announcement. Speculatively, a hypothesis might emerge that this project is an omen for higher energy prices and higher commodity prices moving forward. And that factor, at least in isolation, is typically not good for stocks in general. So, is the Legends Tower a skyscraper curse in the making? Well, for now, that question is still up in the air.